think it's <clears throat> the idea. I mean, the idea about responsibility. I, I, I was reading an article the other day that said that engineers design roads based on the assumption that people aren't trying to hit one another when they're driving on them, and sort of this like expands into this bigger kind of point about how do we design things with the assumption that people. What are the assumptions that underlie the way we design things? And I think that the I think that the assumption has to be. In, so I'm interested in youth, young people's engagement, and and I actually I'm not at all convinced that they're not that the young people who I interact with are not interested in or willing to take responsibility for things. I am convinced that they're not willing to take responsibility for things that they don't feel any ownership of, mm -hmm. right? That they don't feel a part of. So this, I mean, in research, we talk about who gets to ask the question is the, you know, is the way that that comes up. But I think that in, in public participation, we shift that over f so to a youth context. Well, what do you want to be responsible for? I mean, what are, what are these kinds of things that you want to work towards? I think it has to somehow work into a part of that equation because I, I don't... I don't disagree with anything about people taking responsibility, but I do go back to the list that we started making of people who are underrepresented mm -hmm. over here, and it doesn't take very long before you sort of come to appreciate that that is an awfully Pretty big large. group, and, it's and who and mm -hmm. the other, whoever is not represented in that group, is getting smaller and smaller yeah. and smaller, and so then what are you left sure. with, right? So how do you... So how do you move to a place where you reimagine, like, what would it look like to, to actually build a culture where, where everybody could, could be afforded the opportunity to take responsibility? And yet, mm -hmm. on right? it's equally true, though, that sometimes responsibility doesn't wait to ask us what we want to be responsible for. Sometimes we're called to be responsible for things whether we want to be or not. That can happen. Some generations have, have been called to war and service. Others, look, I, I don't know in, 19, in the 1960s how many people were engaged in the issue that there were Canadians walking around who couldn't afford to go see a doctor. But I think we were responsible as a society for solving that, even if we were interested in or our interest drew us somewhere else. So I think there's both have to happen. We, uh, you know, my son will grow up in a very different kind of media society. Um, my dad grew up in one where there were a lot of shared common moments. Um, my son can surf the internet and he doesn't have to watch anything sure. he doesn't interest him. He doesn't even have to hear any opinions he doesn't want to hear. You know, I mean, good, my satellite radio channel is great. I've got a left-wing commentary station or a right-wing commentary station. Isn't that nice? We're so segmented. I don't even have to listen to anyone who disagrees <laughs> with me. I can turn that off and I can make sure I only listen to people who are, who are small L liberals. And I think sometimes the result of that is, well, is two things have happened. As citizens, we've grown a little bit too comfortable saying, well, they're fighting and it, therefore I don't have to listen to that. And too often, the only way we're going to have any collective vehicle for action is still, for better or for worse, warts and all, government is still the vehicle where a lot of collective action happens. The fact that people have tuned it out also means that politicians have been too happy to take advantage of that. You can trace uh, public policy, take the generation with the most people and who votes, and watch the trends. Mm -hmm. In the 70s, when my dad's generation needed government programs, governments ran up big debt. When they were at the top of their earning potential, with my dad's generation, guess what? We went through an era where tax cuts were the new thing, and we should definitely not spend any more. That's enough spending. And now we're running up debt again because, you know, folks my dad's age are retiring. So the result of, of generations tuning out politics has been politicians with their polls have said, okay, we'll just take a look at, I think David put it very well, I've been in the room and heard those too. Who votes and how do we make sure we communicate to them that something will happen for them? And if we simply say, well, I'm waiting for something that makes me, I want to be responsible for, the world and the challenges and the needs of others who are vulnerable and counting on government go on. 